due to mature adult content. Parental discretion is advised. What's up, everyone? It's your friendly glitcher gamer neighbor T Mad here, bringing you my very first ever GTA 5 Online glitch tutorial video. And if you don't have a short attention span of me, subscribe to the channel, hit them bell notifications so you never miss the next time I put out GTA 5 or Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and smash that like button like you're a person with Tourette's. So as you guys can see, I only have 200 subscribers that I'm about to point up here. If y'all could help me out and reach my goal of 500 subscribers by sharing the link, that would be very much appreciated. With that being said, here are the requirements needed for cleaning dirty dupes. You need a bunker, a facility, and an MOC with vehicle storage in Bay 3. Free car in the facility storage, the dirty dupe you want new custom plates on, and custom plates. So now that I've specified the requirements needed, I'm going to go ahead and create myself a dirty plate using the most recent F1 Benny's Wheels Merge Glitch. I've already gone ahead and purchased a free car from Legendary Motorsports, so I'm going to use this Turismo R in order to do this glitch. Glitch. and usually I do put a custom plate on this car first before I do the glitch but as you can see there are no custom plates on that car and so I'm gonna skip that step and then move on with the glitch because like I said I want a dirty duplicate I want to show you guys that this is working as a patch 1.50 straightforward not this clickbait shit that you see out there so now I'm just gonna change a few things around on the car to reflect what I want to show on the Turismo R. And if you noticed a few moments ago, I did not customize the Turismo R at all because all the customizations on the Turismo R that I had put on it would be ripped off as soon as I did the merge glitch. So now that I've finished customizing the F1 car, I'm gonna change my spawn location to bunker and change my outfit to create a force save. Now I'm gonna press the PlayStation button, go over to settings, select network, work highlight connect to internet and double tap the playstation button to return the application now i'm going to approach the rc bandito hit right on the d-pad double tap the playstation button disconnect internet reconnect double tap to return the application and i should spawn into story mode now that i've spawned into story mode i'm going to join an invite only session or a closed friend session and i should be spawning into my bunker next Okay, now that I've spawned in my bunker, I'm going to make my way outside, back to the arena. So now that I'm outside, I've noticed that the car has spawned here with me. That's okay, I'm just going to register as an MC President and return the vehicle to storage. And then I'm going to hit the start menu, go over to the map, and select a job and job teleport to the arena. Now that I've made my way back over to the arena, I'm going to go inside the workshop and then head straight over to the F1 car. I'm going to hop in the F1 car and spam right on the D-pad. This is a good indicator that I am doing the glitch correctly. The car is essentially glitched out, so I'm going to change one thing and I'm going to hover over the cell. As soon as I sell the car, I'm going to join on a person in a different targeting mode up the first, decline the second, and I will still remain in the car. Then I'm going to make my way over to the Turismo, get in, drive out of the arena, and then as you can see the mods have transferred over to the Turismo. Now I'm going to try to drive back in the arena, but I can't. So I have to get out of the car, it's going to disappear, and then I'm going to walk back into the arena. As soon as I get inside, I'm going to head straight over to the Turismo and I'm going to check out the plate on the back. Because I've created dirty duplicates in the past on accident, I do know that's my RC Bandito plate. So I'm going to hop in the car, I'm going to drive into the workshop and I'll see if I can put custom plates on it. So I'm going to go scroll over down to plate and as you can see, I cannot put custom plates on at all. So this is essentially a dirty duplicate or Benny's Merge. So how am I going to fix that? Well, I'm just going to finish customizing the car to what I want and we're going to get into part two of this glitch. I ask that you guys watch this tutorial to the end. That way you know how to clean your duplicates and get rid of your dirty plates properly. Now that I've made my way outside, I'm going to call in my MOC and I'm going to go store the vehicle. I'm also going to make sure my last spawn location is set to bunker. Now I'm going to drive over to the MOC, and I'm going to park this bitch in the back of it. Get in there, you dirty, dirty dupe. Dirty, dirty dupe. Now that the car is in the back of the MOC, in vehicle storage, Bay 3, 
I'm gonna leave the MOC and then I'm just gonna find a new session. So if you already have a dirty duplicate you want to clean, you can just simply drive it over to your bunker and then park it in the back of your MOC. And then save your outfit, join a new session, and make sure that you spawn back into your bunker. Once you spawn in your bunker, make your way to the back of the MOC and get in the car. As you can see here, I still have the same dirty plates that I had in the arena. So now I'm going to take the car and I'm going to park it over here exactly like this against this wall. And I'm going to have the ass end stick out just a little bit. And then I'm going to exit the bunker. Now it is really important you do not call in a personal vehicle at this point. You want to register as a CEO, call in a buzzard and make your way over to the facility. Once again, do not call in a personal vehicle. And if you don't have access to a CEO buzzard, well, you're just going to have to make your ass over there any way you can. Pro pilot skills right there. Once you've made it over to the facility, you're going to want to make it over to your receptionist. Once you get to the receptionist, you're going to want to join on someone in a different targeted mode. Once you've joined someone in different targeting mode, you're going to want to accept the first alert and decline the second alert. Then you're going to want to hit the start, go over to the map, and select custom jobs on your map. Start the job, and it's going to tell you it's no longer available. Hit right on the D-pad. You should hear the receptionist speak at this point. Do not back out entirely. Just hit the start menu, go over to online, purchase shark cards, go into it, back out, and select the same job again on your map. As soon as you start the job, immediately spam circle and you'll have this loading screen on the right hand side that you see. So now that you're glitched out with an infinite loading screen, make your way over to one of the free cars in your facility, join on someone in different targeting mode as you're getting in and hold R2, accept the first alert, decline the second alert and continue holding R2 until you get kicked out of the facility. A few moments later. Now that I've been kicked out of the facility, I am not at my facility. I actually spawned somewhere else. So I'm going to get in my CEO buzzard and make my way back over to the bunker. Pull up, pull up, pull up. I totally meant to do that. Pro pilot. So now that I've made it back to the bunker, let's head on inside. What do we have for her, Johnny? So as you can see, the car is still here. And as you can see on the back, the dirty plates are still there. So as soon as I get in the car, the plates from the car that is sitting at the facility will transfer onto the dirty dupe. Damn, I'm good! Can you feel that? Huh? Can you feel it? Now that you've hopped in the car, drive it to the back of the MOC and replace the vehicle. And the dirty dupe will be transferred over to the facility and here you go, you got your clean duplicate in the back of the MOC. Now you can't walk out of here because essentially you are still glitched out. In order to get yourself out of the MOC, just simply drive it out. So I'm gonna drive over to Beaker's garage and we're gonna see if I can put custom plates on. Now that I've arrived at Beaker's, I'm going to drive on in and see if I can equip custom plates. So I'm going to go down the plates, and right there, I can equip custom plates. So I'm going to select one, drive back out, and drive over to the facility and show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the clean duplicate and the dirty duplicate. I meant to do that. Pro driver skills. I'm a good driver. Now that we're back at the facility, here you guys can see, right here is the dirty plate number, or dirty duplicate, and over here is the clean one that we just duplicated and put a clean custom plate on. So you wanna keep this one and get rid of that piece of shit over there. So now I'm gonna hop in the dirty dupe and simply drive it out of the facility and destroy the shit out of it. Bad, 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 dirty, dirty. Where's the kaboom? No good. Dude. There was supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. Ew. That was actually pretty fucking sick. 
Once you've destroyed the car, you can now open up the internet tab, go over to legendary motor. Oh shit. So once again, bring up your phone, open the internet tab, go over to Legendary Motorsports and select the free car to replace over the destroyed Turismo. Once you do that, you can call Moore's Mutual to confirm that the car has been officially wiped from your inventory. And then there you go. So basically, we've duplicated a car, put clean plates on it, and then destroyed the dirty dupe. I can't believe you've done this. Yeah, dude, I can't believe it either. So if this video tutorial helped you clean your dirty plates, please do me a favor, smash that like button until you break your phone or something, subscribe to the channel, turn on them bell notifications so you never miss the next time I put out content. I do Red Dead Redemption fails and funnies glitch tutorials, now I'm doing GTA 5 glitch tutorials, and I will be also doing GTA 5 fails and funnies. So before I head on out of here, I'd like to give Black Zonda a shout out. You can check his channel out for some of the best explained GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 glitch tutorial video. And also go check out Hell Dorado's channel for the best straightforward, straight to the goddamn point glitch tutorial videos for Red Dead Redemption 2 online. I will leave the links to their channels in the description below. Please go over to their channels and show them some love. So to wrap it up. Whether you have a dirty dupe from the gift cards to friends glitch or a dirty dupe from just duplicating cars yourself, you can totally use this tutorial. If you made it to the end of my video, I'd like to thank you all for watching. It's your friendly glitcher gamer neighbor T Mad here. I'm about to glitch myself. Fuck out of here. Take care now. Bye bye, Dad.